Hello, everybody. Guess what? Today is Thursday. And I'm feeling very thoughtful. Because <laughs> <laughs> it must be Thursday thoughts with Merle and Patty. Because she's Merle and I'm Patty. So it's yeah. the day for thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you guys. Happy holidays. Happy yeah. Thursday. Um, every week. We talk about relationships, Merle and I, because on our morning walks alone or almost alone, we solve all the problems of the world. And gosh, a couple of years now, we decided to bring it to you guys, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, and we talk about relationships, love relationships, work relationships, family relationships. We do a lot of focus on love relationships. But what are we talking about today, Merle? Today, guess what? You know, there's COVID and the holidays are coming up. So we decided, hmm, maybe the lockdown, maybe it could even be a blessing during holiday times, at least for some people, or what do you think? There's different ways of approaching this. There is, and I think it's good since we are in lockdown, you know, we have that we can control some things and we can't control things. And the things that we can't control, well, what we can control is our attitude and perceptions and thoughts about them. So if we can't go see our family and we can't say, hi, Anita, and we can't go see our friends and we can't travel and even our close friends, we can, it's, it's very much insulated again. Instead of being, oh, I can't see anybody and I'm so miserable, I'm so miserable, we could come up with a reason. <laughs> That's like, <laughs> I'm gonna do some contemplation. I'm gonna do some inner work. Or I think even what you're getting at is like, some people, it's the burden of the year going back to see the family. It's a damn good excuse, right? What do you think, Merle? I think sometimes I th the holidays, the people have such high thoughts of how the holidays should be and how um, uh, magical it is. You go home and your parents are there and your siblings are there and the little, everybody's little babies are there and it's so wonderful. Uh, but, you know, we don't, our families are not magical storybook families. They're people that are grouchy. They're people that are saying, why aren't you married? They're people that are saying, why don't you have kids? The people that say, you know, why aren't you straight? I, they're <laughs> always saying something that, and whatever it is that you are, they're saying <laughs> something else. And, and normally, if someone on the street or a friend of yours would tease you, it would be totally different. But when it's your father that says it, when it's your mother that says it, you're just ready to scream. And in fact, sometimes you do. Uh -huh. oh, and that's probably not a good thing. So a Zoom meeting of the family may give you just enough distance so that you can remember oh i don't have to get angry oh i don't have to act like i'm five anymore oh i don't have you know i don't i don't have to be suckered in to these reactions that i used to have because now i've done things and i enjoy my life and I'm doing things that makes me feel good. And if I'm not, I'm working on getting to the point where I'm doing things that make me feel good. So I don't have to react like I used to. And just that little change, uh, we talk about doing things differently. This gives you an opportunity to do something differently because things are different. That's so use it, use it. That's it. Go ahead. You're right. And what, no, what you said this morning, because it gets us out of that by habit thing, the by road, uh, automatic pilot. We go back home, we see the family, we get a little argument, we watch TV, whatever it is that you do, there, there's not. So you don't have that by road just falling into patterns. And the thing, as you and I preach every day, is like break the patterns. So you have to, we, we're forced into pattern breaking. Yes, yes. So, right. Instead of doing that automatic thinking that you are, do, you don't even think, you just react. You just react because that's how you always have. That's, that's what you do. Uh, he, 
here, you can't do what you always do. And that forces a break in the pattern. What the break in the pattern, how we teach in the magic and science of love, which you will want to know. And there should probably be a link somewhere on uh, in the comments or will be by the time we're done. Um, then... So Merle, tell us about the magic and science of love. <laughs> It's an opportunity to learn things about yourself and to do things differently. And when you do things differently, different things happen in your life. And if you're looking for something different in your life than what you have, we think in terms of it being a, a partner, but really it can be anything. If you want your life to be doing things that it's not doing now, then it's up to you to steer the ship where you want it to go. If you don't know where you want it to go, I'll tell you what to do. Go somewhere that you weren't planning on going, anywhere else. Do something different. Do something different. In fact, one of the assignments in our class, which is for people that are looking for the perfect partner, not the perfect person, the perfect partner for you, uh, we teach how to break habits. And that is simply very easy. All you have to do is every day do something that you wouldn't otherwise do. And if you're not sure, if it makes you uncomfortable, then you know, oh, that's a good thing to do. Because any new thing you do makes you uncomfortable. And all the good stuff comes outside the comfort level. I promise. All the good stuff outside your, your box. That's it. Okay. So we do. It is a, it's a class for singles, men and women, um, who are looking for love or to change their patterns. If they have, they have a pattern of picking, picking the wrong one or not picking anybody or be, feeling they're not being picked. We get into the whys and wheres for, it's just a three week class. It's only $75. We keep them kind of small and intimate. Everybody gets to talk and work. It's all on Zoom. You could be anywhere in the world. Um, and the first week really is about you, who you are looking at yourself. And the second week is going into who you want, why you want it. And the third week is how to find it. And it's fun and we do basic psychology and the science. Merle is the relationship miracle worker. This is her expertise. She has a beautiful book called Breaking the Relationship Code. And I bring the magical aspects into it, literal spell, spell working and rituals and things to do it. And the two together come in the pl same place from both doors. So you're, we just throw you right in and it works. It's kind of like breakthrough training. <laughs> <laughs> and we have one in January, right Merle? Yes, you are completely correct. And it, it is the second, starts on the second Monday, which is the 11th, the 11th, 18th, and 25th. We do Mondays at 5.30. Pacific. Pacific. So you kind of pretty much anywhere can join us. Yeah, because it's not too late for East Coasters or anywhere in the middle. It's a little late for UK people, but we've done it. <laughs> get up in the middle of the night but it's 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 fun it's informative it can be life-changing if you so choose it we give you the tools and it is it is really fun and we've got two engagement rings out of it so far of people thinking i'll never get that i'll never get married and one's planning their wedding right now right merle yeah oh, oh absolutely it's yeah. she already has the gown she ha of course she has the date and i love her date her date is four three two one Ah, that's perfect. Countdown and blast off. Four, two, yeah. two, one, go. That is beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys are interested, um, we have a Facebook page or almost have a Facebook page. It's, it's getting, I think, finished created today. But go to Merle's website, relationshipmiracleworker.com slash workshop. You can sign up. You can get an Eventbrite. We will have more on all our social media. But um, what about a great, that's a great holiday gift for yourself. If somebody else tell them about it, if you have a, if you're not single and you have a single friend going, they complain all the time that they don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. What a great little stocking stuffer or for yourself. What about bringing love into your new year? 
for your holiday present. I think it's good. Ah. I think it's great. I, I, I'm excited about our January, uh, uh, our January course because what a great way to start the new year. It's perfect. It's it perfect. is. What time is it, Merle? Uh, it, it's 11, 11. It's 11, 11 on the nose. Go for it, Patty. Ah, okay. 11, <laughs> 11. What's that? It's the magic number. It's the angel number. It's make a wish number. It's numerology number. It means a lot of things, which we don't even explain. And we have turned it into this magic, magic number. So what we usually try to do when we can get close to it is take a moment to inner reflection, almost like a baby, you know, two minute meditation, but not if you're driving or operating heavy machinery or feeding children at the time. Um, but um, so everybody just let's, let's look at turning the holidays, whatever your situation into something good. So if you're sitting and cross yourself and cross your legs, um, close your eyes or open your eyes, whatever you're comfortable with. Everybody take a deep breath, hold it and exhale. Another deep breath, just relax and go inside. Hold it and exhale. Okay, I want you to picture your life right now. Just picture you sitting right where you are. Holidays are coming. Whatever holidays you just choose to celebrate or not celebrate, here we are. It is 2020, the year of pandemics and COVIDs and lockups and things. And think about what you usually do for the holidays, good, bad, or indifferent. Think about that for a minute. Now think about how this year is different. If it is different, or even think about how it is this year. How with this year, are you not, can't travel or not traveling, getting together with friends or neighbors or loved ones. So now, instead of thinking like, darn it, I don't get to do this, think of how you can make it into a good, how you can break it like, wow, now I have time to do this, or I'm gonna make special gifts for them or handmade things, or we're gonna plan a Zoom party. How can you turn it into a positive? Because remember, perception is everything. So think, get creative for a second. How could you make this change in the holidays this year, something really magical that maybe you would have never ever thought of or done before, and maybe never will again, but to turn it into something special? Get creative. And now see, putting that into fruition, into action, like calling up, hey, mom, how about we do this this year? Well, whatever, or start making those funny little things or creating a Zoom, whatever that is. And see that the joy that the holidays can bring you something different. And again, like Merle said, we're not gonna go back into rote. We're not gonna go back into habit. So it is what we make it, make it something good. And then come back right to where you are sitting with your fingers and toes and then come back and look at the coming holidays and the new year with new light and new positivity, whatever it was before, make it better. So yay. <laughs> ah, thinking on Thursday, it's such a good thought. Uh, so what are we gonna do in 45 minutes, Merle? Because 45 minutes, if you're here right now, we're gonna leave in a minute. But in 45 minutes, Merle's going to come back solo with Merle's pearls. She has a lot of pearls. What are we talking about? <laughs> pearls of wisdom, you realize. Well, uh, our topic for today is um, really an extension of what we've been talking about. It's kind of making a list of those family people that you've had an issue with and plan a different approach. It's I really love the idea of when somebody says do something different, I, I don't know what to do. But if I say, this is what I've always done, what, what would be, uh, if I didn't do that, what could I do? And anything, and you know, it doesn't have to be a brilliant idea. It doesn't have to work. It doesn't, it just has to be something that you thought of. That's, that's, that's miracle. <laughs> because, whatever it is. Yeah, because if whatever, if that's it, whatever it is, you do, that's an easy way to do something different. But it doesn't have to be fabulous. So, oh my God, I thought of it. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
So anyway, that's we're going to talk about that and, and some uh, specific approaches to making that work for you. And then we'll be back next Monday. Next Monday. No, so. next. No, next Thursday. Oh, oh yeah. Thursday Thoughts for formerly Monday mornings with Merle and Patty. Now it's Monday mornings with Merle and Patty on Thursday Thoughts. So sorry about that. I'm not good. Ah, it was a rough morning. Um, yes, but like us, follow us, come back. If you like us, tell your friends. If you, if you don't like us or you think of things we can improve, tell us. We, we really do like input. We really do like your thoughts, what we can talk about, um, suggestions of topics to talk about. Yeah. Um, we're on all the internet, we're on all the social media. We both yeah. have websites, pattynegri.com, relationshipmiracleworker.com. We both have books on Amazon. So that's it. Back next week, or come back at 12 or three, or wherever you are in the world. Huh? Lauren, hi, Lauren. Oh, yes. Starts January 11th. Okay, super. Nice to see you, Lauren. Come back at 12. <laughs> yeah, come back at 12. The magic and science of love. You can find us. Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Have a magical day.